another episode of Fish in the South. We're out here at uh, one of our favorite ponds, the Galleria. And uh, over there in those middle lily pads you can see there, I cast it onto the lily pads and just popped them off a few times. And uh, he was just sitting right there. Um, line started rising out of the water. And look at this busy flip. Down its throat. I mean, he just like engulfed this thing. It goes through its mouth, back in. Really cool hookup. Um, I got a, uh, like a Denny Burauer, um, uh, crawl trailer on there. Nice fish to start our day. And again, um, on those lily pads. And uh, we'll get back with you with the release in a few minutes. Okay, thanks. Hey guys, I'm back. Here's the jig and the fish. A nice jig, a uh, Bitsy Flip black and blue. Uh, same kind of colored trailer, if you can see it in there. It's kind of messed up now because of the fish. But uh, yeah, just a little dink I caught. And uh, not the ideal jig fishing uh, rod. This is only seven foot, but you'd want to go with like a seven foot two. Warming jig or like a seven foot six uh, flipping flipping rod. So here's that bass again going for the release. Hey guys, we're here. I just caught this probably about a pounder underneath these weeds right here, or like these lily pads. I was using a Texas rigged um, uh, Reaction Ovations Sweet Beaver 4.2 in the sprayed grass color. Sorry, my voice is a little clogged up because of allergies, but um, anyway, it's a real nice morning out here. Um, this guy hit me earlier once on the, uh, I believe it was the uh, Zoom, uh, yeah, Baby Brush Hog in Alabama, Croft. but anyway, right, the rod I'm using, this Quantum 6'6", six six, Adviso with my Shimano Corrado that I just recently got, real nice combo. And we're gonna do a review on the Corrado and my Sitica very soon. Alright. So right under these weeds, just felt him hit and set the hook on him. Hey guys, point here, I just caught this little dink here. Um got him on the Magnum Zoom Magnum Finesse Worm Wacky Rig in a Houdini color. I really like this color. It's actually kind of weird. Um, I was uh, kind of, it was kind of on the on the top, and I was kind of floating, and um, right by these little weed patches, kind of got into some. But it's kind of floating, and he came up and he hit it almost like a top water, and he was on and uh, jumping, real real feisty fish here, little probably half pounder maybe, kind of small fish. But we'll get back to you with some more. But first, we'll release this guy. Um, I just have to kind of get out here a little bit. There he goes. Alright, we'll get back to you some more fish. Alright, so John's got one on here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh. Yeah, he's probably a good one. Here we go. Flip him over. Oh, oh crap. Oh, my rod broke. Oh, it sucks. That's why you gotta. It's okay. Well, uh, there goes a rod, unfortunately. Just toss him on the ground. But, uh, just caught this, uh, Devil Spear. And, uh, or not Devil Spear, sorry, my bad. Pit Boss in, uh, black and blue. Texas rigged with a, oh man, one fourth ounce weight. And, uh, just cut this nice little one. Yeah, he's maybe. Yeah, he's like pretty one, fat. Yeah, one and a fourth, probably. Dang it, Rod's getting in the way, huh? Oh, well. Good little fish. Uh oh. Oh, I think he'll be okay. Okay, so, yeah. There's my rod, unfortunately. Broken half. I'll just get a refund, I guess. Okay. Nice little one and a fourth. He's got a pretty fat belly on him there. Good little bass. Caught him in those middle lily pads there. I just popped it right off the lily pad. Good, uh, going for the release here. Nice little bass. This is a really short and like fat bass. A little, little stud. Okay, let's go for the release. Oh. First cast over into that little area over there. I just picked up this really like golden. Look at the colors on him. It's like golden bronze looking bass. He just looks great. 
pretty small though, probably not even a pound. Over there, um, uh, first cast, felt him hit it, and he is pretty. This pond is really invaded with like algae, there's a lot of it. Well, during the summer at least. Yeah, and spring. So. Go ahead and let this beautiful bass here go. Oh, oh, what the heck? Oh, there he goes. Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, he's got a lot of weeds on him. Hope they won't break my rod this time. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Nice little bass, actually. Open your mouth. Oh, here we go. Well, wow, that's a lot of weeds. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> if you can see my bait, um, this uh, crawfatty and black blue flake. It's got this nice, yeah, about a pound. Got a good little chunky, oh yeah. Good little chunky stomach on him. He might be a little less. Mm, yeah, maybe like three fourths on a bullet weight that's in all of this. Yeah, you can see that bullet weight there. And then crawfatty again, black and blue with a uh, red gamagatsu offset worm hook. Nice little bass right next to that uh, white tube. You can see all the algae on the water. Um, that's basically what's on my uh, craw right now. Another nice bass. Tail's gotten pretty beat up. I guess probably turtles or, yeah, probably turtles. So, that'd be bad here. There he is again. Nice little bass. There he goes. Okay, we'll get back with you some more fish. All right, Thanks. John's got one on here. Ooh, head shaker. Good little bass. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a pretty nice one. Probably two. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a, Oh, crap. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, don't lose him. Oh, come on, dude. Ah. Oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. a two. That's a good two. Yeah, that's a nice him one. right by the eyeball. Ow. Ooh, I did. Oh, that's close one. Okay, crawfish, buddy, guys. Man, you killed it. I felt good, that pull. Good that was fish. Cool. Right before we got the video going, there was a big jump. Unfortunately, we didn't get it, but that was cool. That's a really good bass. That's Ooh, a nice two, actually. That's a good, yeah, good two. Yeah. Just probably got out of spawn there. Yeah, probably did. Probably a late spawner. Got like crawfatty Texas rigged. Really hitting them. Just uh, about probably like five, six, seven feet before that white pipe. They're all in there. You can see those sprayers over there. They're just like spraying water, and I'm gonna guess like food in here. Man, it's a nice bass. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna get a picture, and I'll get back with you. Okay, thanks. Hey guys, welcome back. Just caught this nice two on the uh, Berkeley had a craw fatty right here. Black, blue flake. Quinn just switched over to a Gary Yamamoto, so hopefully you can get some. And really nice bass. Let's go for it. Here. The biggest bass of the day. Hopefully Quinn can catch some more and I can catch some. Good release. There he goes. Get back no. and use some more fish. Hey guys, Thanks. I just caught this little bass here. <laughs> it's so small. The Senko was almost bigger than him, and he, he took it off. He ripped it, but dude, it probably was. Senko's like five inches. Yeah. I mean that. I, I that is just such a small fish. Wow. <laughs> it's really pretty, actually. But um. Yeah, I don't think I've caught one this small at this pond. All right, we'll go ahead and let this guy go here. It felt a really small little tap, but I was like, yeah, all right, I'll set the hook. And this guy came flying out of the water pretty much. But, uh, yeah, let him go. All right. Hey, guys, welcome back. Quinn just caught this one on Gary Yamamoto Cinco. Small bass here. Small bass. Not, not even a pound. Crap, that thing is fat. Look at his stomach. He's a little fat. A little chunky one. Small mouth on him. Probably uh, over half a pound. I don't know. It's pretty small though. Pretty, pretty much a dink, but pretty fat actually. Pretty fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna right. let this big old fatty go here. Put it on the Yamamoto Senko with red flake in it. Wacky rig, just right here, hit me right here by the shore, actually. Yeah, it wasn't very far away. But, um, that fish, all right, let him go. Ready? Ooh. All right, 
Woods. All right, um, well that might be the last one. Um, this pretty much sums it up for our trip. Hope you enjoyed our video. Um, we know that we did. Um, stay tuned for some future videos and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.